Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, this is Pops. He's my foster pup. He's a good boy. Yes, he is. I uh, know, handsome. And he just felt like he had to <laughs> be in this intro video with me. So here he is. Since he's so darn cute, why not? Hey, don't do, don't chew on the chair. Hey, hey, we're taking a video. Focus. You need to focus. You need to focus. Today. We are gonna do, today we're gonna do a mailbox makeover. Makeover. There's a makeover. It's a really simple project. I think anybody could do it. Um, took a can of black spray paint and then some, would you not chew on that? Hey! And then some red acrylic paint, which you could totally use red spray paint or probably just about any other type of red paint you can find. We already had some red acrylic, so we just used that. Right, buddy? Yes, yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes. Um, anyways. So I think you guys will like this. It's a pretty straightforward and easy tutorial. Uh, and if you guys do like it, please thumbs up. And subscribe. So we can get more ridiculousness. With the puppers and I. Although he's not staying forever. And, and yeah, I'd really appreciate that. So definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, and let's check out this mailbox makeover. Pops, where are you going? Hi. Stop. Pops. First thing I actually did that I'm not showing here was wash the mailbox, kind of like you would wash a car, just to get any dirt or debris off of it. And then I was taking this scrubber thing. Uh, it's meant to rub off metal and get any rust off of it. And that's what I was doing here. You can see there was some rust on this corner. So I just wanted to get anything loose off. And I was also <laughs> trying to fix it here, but it didn't really work out. So just get that rust off, prep the surface, and get it ready for the paint. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is cover up these numbers. Some painter's tape. Because I feel like I just replaced these recently and I don't want to have to paint over them and replace them again. over so you just want to make sure that the whole thing is covered anything that you don't want the spray paint to you get on uh, additionally I did actually put some cardboard down below I don't know if I mentioned that already and then I taped up the other side as well and after that we can move on to paint This is the fun part. Okay, it's dripping a little bit. Maybe I went too fast. So I went ahead and did a first coat all over it. Since it was in the sun, it dried really quick. So I did do a second coat pretty much right away. Probably should do it slower than I did though. Let's say this looks pretty decent. And for a can of spray paint, in like eight minutes, 
maybe less. Next step, flag taken care of. Let's see what we can do with this. A little acrylic paint and a flag. That's really all you need. Although to be fair, I am not 100% sure how well the acrylic is going to last in the sun. Or the rain. We're gonna find out. Living together and learning together, guys. My paintbrush is wet. Oh yeah, that's the right color. Look at that. Isn't that beaut, Gerald? Firehouse Red. Boom shakalaka. Fire Engine Red. HOA, you want an updated mailbox? You got it. You know, just make sure you get a coat on both sides, a nice thick coat for the paint, and then you just gotta let it dry. So as you can see, our, um, where these holes are, there was like a little nub, and then usually there's a handle to take this on and off, or rather open it up, but that was plastic and it broke off. So I looked around the house and I found these nuts and bolts, and I figure they're gonna make snazzy additions to my mailbox. So, you know, why not? So I'm just gonna screw these on and I'll be right back to show you what it finish looked like. Boom! You can see these are really quite convenient. You can actually put your finger in between the two of them. I just screwed them in there. I don't need a thing at the top anymore. And honestly, I feel like it's a pretty solid look. Um, I had these on before I painted, so I just took them off. But I wanted to show you guys my sneaky little redo. You've got the, the, the screw here, which has this flat head that I found in our house. I don't even know where I found or what they were technically for. Then I had these washers. So I used a washer on the inside and on the outside to hold it together. And voila, a little bit of chrome to your mailbox. Now the next thing we gotta do, take off the number. Let's see how this turns out. Started it a little bit so it would be easier for the video so you guys could just see. Real slow like, dun dun. <laughs> Gotta have theme song music. What? Skadoosh. I'm just saying, I'm pretty happy with myself so far. Uh, all I have left to do is put that flag on, peel the numbers off on the other side. And I gotta wait for the flag to finish drying. Now the flag. Full disclosure, I don't think it turned out phenomenal. And if you had red spray paint already, I would totally recommend that. Um, I was being as frugal as possible because that's the way I am. But this is just gonna line up the holes. Put your flag in. Really difficult with two hands. Like, fine, we'll do it this way. Shove the flag in there, line it up in the holes. It's gonna work just fine. Line up these holes to these holes. Oop. Line up all the holes. I hope somebody thinks I'm as entertaining as I think I am. No, it's okay too. Snap this bad boy in place. Boom! We're in business. I'm gonna leave this open to dry, but I would say that, my friends, it's a job well done. Okay, here's our final product. I think, uh, I think it turned out pretty good.
flag looks just fine. I mean, it's not perfect. You know what? For just a can of spray paint, I'm not mad at it. HOA, I have to agree. I suppose I can shut this tight on. There it is. Ta da! So, what did you guys think? I think it turned out really well. Pops likes it. What do you think, Pops? You got slobber all over me in the process here, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, it has been a few days because I wanted to wait and see if it faded, if it peeled, or did anything, but good news, it looks. Stop that! It looks fantastic. Eh, you are being naughty. Yes. I love you. Do you know I love you? <laughs> so thank you for watching. Please, if you like it, let me know. Give me comments if you want to see anything done. Let me know about that too. Uh, and don't forget, adopt and spay and neuter your handsome pups. Just like this one. Hope you have a great day. Thank you so much. Mwah! Bye, Pops. You don't care.